What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more Scrap Mechanics Survival and today I want to actually do some base stuff. I've got a lot of concrete. I actually did two full loads with the chemical trailer. It was crazy uh, and I've just been making concrete. So we've got all this concrete. We've got a bunch of brick. Uh, we've got an empty chest apparently. We're currently making more brick because we are in fact out of chemicals again and we still have more stone. But I like doing this kind of brick concrete hybrid build design. You'll notice we've got concrete on the top layers. And then when we go below the water, it's brick and brick supports. And I kind of like that and I want to keep going with that. Even though brick does take more stone than concrete, honestly, it's not too big a deal. So today, the first thing I want to do is we're going to move all the vehicles out of the base for a bit. Um, I modified the trailer. I couldn't figure out why the trailer looked weird. And then someone put it out in the comments uh, on a fuel trailer or an oil trailer or whatever. The wheels are right at the very back. And when I put the wheels on the back, all of a sudden it sort of made sense. And I feel like it looks more like an, you know, chemical liquid trailer, whatever you want to call it. But it still works the same. Really, really great. And actually, I took another suggestion from the comments and I went over to the chemical pond and I built a dock out of concrete. So over at the chemical pond, there's this little concrete sort of parking area that goes right up to the edge of the water and we can back the trailer up onto that. The trailer doesn't slide anymore, allows you to pump your stuff and it's really, really super useful. So I've got that set up as well. Probably not going to see that in this episode because I don't really have a purpose to getting more chemicals, but we're just going to move all the vehicles out because I've got some big plans. I want to start laying out some concrete, mainly for parking. As you can see, we've just got... This is all a mess. Like, we have no parking space. We've got no space to put all these trailers. I want to build more trailers, and we still don't have space for that. So, uh, we're just going to move everything out here for now. And I have a plan. Now, the first step is going to be moving the farm. Originally, I built the farm here, not really thinking too much of it. But after we've laid out this wall, all the farm bots that spawn on this side come and attack this corner of the wall. And I find that really aggravating. So what I want to do is take the entire farm and move it over to here, pretty much. So it sits in this spot. And I'm hoping that'll cause more farm bots to spawn in front of the flat section of the wall, which is going to be much easier to defend, and less of them to spawn in the corner. I imagine some of them will still spawn on this far side and coming from this corner, but I'd rather have the majority of them come at the front of the wall, and then that way we can have some auto turrets and stuff like that to make it easier to defend. So we're going to move the whole farm over, which is going to be a real pain in the butt, to be perfectly honest, but we're just going to start by spending forever removing this soil. Now this is, I think, it's 8 by whatever, so I'll just... Uh, Remove all this soil extremely painfully, one block at a time. All right, I've gathered all the soil from this farm, which it doesn't really seem as impressive when there's no soil in it. And we have to make a row of eight. So I'm going to try and push this as close to the shore as possible because we can always have the farm bricks and stuff overhang uh, and not a big deal. So it looks like this is as far as we can get unless it goes up more. Maybe we put it closer to the wall. Start it like here. Yeah, let's, let's do this. One. Oh, no, that's a huge step. That's stupid. Okay, hold on. One, two. That's a little bit of a step, but not that big a deal. Five. Okay. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And then we can go forward. I'm not too worried about, like, the slope, because we can always just build the farm up, and I'm pretty sure the water guns and the sensor system and all that, that's not going to be a big deal. We can just extend the range on it. Um, so this should be pretty much what we've got to do. And now we've just got to place all this soil again and remake the farm. And then we've got to disconnect that whole farm from the ground. And we should be able to do this in just one straight shot. Just lift the whole thing up and then weld it all in one spot once we've laid the frame around this new farm. The wall is good on all directions. You know, there's no real big issue with them attacking from the corner. It just in terms of auto defenses, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to have to deal with that corner. And like with this rail system, for example, you know, we can't exactly have it turn around the corner easily there are ways we could do it but it's just much easier if we can get them all to spawn on the one side so that was the big thing that i was thinking of and then i want to take the rest of the concrete we have and hopefully build some parking areas for these trailers we've got a lot of trailers and i'm hoping we've got enough concrete to make at least a few spots for them although probably not to be honest we're probably gonna like make one spot and then be out of concrete completely but that's okay all right so that is our new farm plot, perfectly laid out. You can see it's a little bit closer to the wall, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not too worried. We're not going to really use this as a driving area, I don't think. I really want to put the parking mainly in the back here. Of course, there's these rocks in the way, but I'm thinking we could just put like a big parking area over here and maybe extending behind the farm. All right, let's turn this off. We got to take this. Yeah, let's just remove that whole chunk. Okay, we can put all these in the inventory. 
And then we need some brick. So we're going to get some brick initially just to lay out the new sort of foundation around the farm. And then we're going to disconnect all this and all the logic should be able to come up. Yeah, it should all come in one straight shot. This actually shouldn't be too difficult to do. So we're going to lay the brick out first. And that's just a little bit of a cage around the whole farm here. And uh, let's actually extend one of these. I'm stretching it all the way below the ground. That's going to be our anchor point to make sure the whole, you know, structure doesn't pop out of the ground. Because sometimes that happens like it did with the entire front wall. And that would just be a pain in the butt. So we just kind of stretch a few of these nice and low. What? Ooh, is that hitting something? There's something below the ground there. All right, let's just uh, put the lift down and take a look. Let's see if there's something here below the ground. And just take a look. We're going to have to do some more of this later. No, there's nothing there. It just doesn't want me to stretch it. Okay, whatever. That's fine. You can see over by the other farm as well. Uh, maybe not. It's a little bit difficult to see. But there are a bunch of anchor points. So this whole section here that's anchored deep, that should be perfect to make sure that this new farm doesn't go anywhere. Uh, but we're going to have to delete the anchor points on the old farm as well because I don't want to leave those on the map in case we are building new structures. The idea is basically the more blocks we have below the ground, we don't want to connect the structures, right? So the wall is a separate structure from this and that kind of helps with frame rate and lag and stuff. So ideally we want to keep all these things separate. Like the farm always needs to be its own individual structure with its own anchor points. So there we go. That's perfect. Now let's just break this guy off. So we're just going to slowly slice a line around the entire edge of it i don't know if these chests are going to come with it or not hopefully they do but if they don't it's not the end of the world we're just going to slice this yeah just slice it as low as we can just like that and then oh boy i hope this works this should be fine to be honest it shouldn't be a big deal as long as we get all the anchor points out and then, of course, we're going to check below ground afterwards. Okay, so that's all that. And then there's this inside line. Just get rid of that. You can see we got some stuff left in the ground there. That's okay, though. We'll clean that out later. Okay, got that. This. I didn't really plan on removing this farm when I built it originally. But I also didn't really pay attention to where the farm bots were spawning. So, okay, that's everything. Where is it? Is it? There's still, like, wood under here. And, uh-oh, okay, so you can see that piece just fell from the sky. That was an anchor point that just got disconnected. All these chests just fell off, didn't they? They're all individual. Okay, well, so we're not we're not saving the chests. We'll have to put them on later. Not a big deal. Okay, well, you know what? If we're not saving the chests, um, well, if we just delete this, these are all going to fall then, right? Yeah. How is this one still attached? Oh, I see. Okay, well, let's get rid of that. Yeah, perfect. Here's the whole farm. It'd be wicked awesome if we could, you know, save stuff on the lift now. Because I could just save this and upload it to the workshop for anybody who actually wanted this farm with all the circuit. But that's the whole farm. And now we should be able to just grab this and lift up the front here. And if we weld this corner to here, it doesn't want to let me do it. You gotta be kidding me. Is it? Oh, man. What are we? Are we interfering with that stupid rock back there, aren't we? Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot. Oh, I see. that's the wrong corner. Anyway, hold on. It's this corner to here. Oh, look at that. Okay, it was just the wrong corner. That's fine. It looks perfect. Awesome. So now we just got to clean up a few of these edges again. So just bring this stuff back down. This is great. Oh, this is going to be perfect. This is a new location. Love it. We're going to have to probably move this water tank to the other side. We can actually put it like right here over the water. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay, let's just clean this up real quick. And then we'll come back in the morning when we've got the whole farm set up. And we'll do a dry run of the farm and then start working on some parking areas. Alright, so it's daylight again. Uh, just going to finish painting this up. We've got the farm completely rearranged. The only unfortunate thing I notice is because we built it on the other side, we've got to kind of walk in here to actually put the seeds in the chest. You can see we can jump up here and just do that. It's not really a big deal because, I mean, this is all open anyway. But it is just something I noticed. And then, of course, I did do a little bit of a dry test, so... If we turn it on, it seems to work, you know? I mean, it's lined up still. Nothing should change. Ooh, it's way off to the one side. I think it's fine, though, as long as it waters them all. You can see it's trying to seed, but obviously we didn't put any seeds in it. Uh, and this should actually just be fine. Now, the only thing we have to do is hook up the water tank again. I actually kept it on this side. I rotated it a little bit. And the reason why is this is going to be really nice if we need to access it for whatever reason. So we're going to just run 
some tubing all the way out. We have tons of tubing. I had just a bunch left over. And um, there was a way. How the heck do I extend this again? There was a... There we go. Perfect. Look at that. Max length. Max length. And we should just be able to run this all the way into the ocean uh, over here. It is a little bit excessive. But, I mean, you know what? It's It'll work. There we go. Perfect. And then loop this down. Another max length tube. And should be able to just pump it right from there. Turn that up like that. And hook this into the switch. So if we activate this, we're pumping. Excellent. So there we go. So that'll be our new watering system. It'll be kind of nice. Should work out well. Yeah, yeah, I know. You ran out of water. It's fine, farm. You know, we'll just turn you off. There you go. Perfect. Now look at all this space we have here for activities. That's so nice. So the last thing we got to do, actually, is uh, check below ground. We got to see what else is here we got to make sure we remove absolutely everything so let's just do a quick check and see if we missed any pieces we probably did oh my goodness did we not actually that's the wall oh there's like oh you can see like there's a floating hold on there's some wood there that's floating on the water okay look at this look at this we are below the terrain floating on the water that doesn't exist look at that cleaning that up i think that's it now, how do we... Okay, we can just get back in the seat to get out, actually. That's anchored for that portion. I think we might actually be able to just glitch ourselves out. No, no, maybe not. Can I just jump through the terrain here? Oh, boy. Okay, you know, let's just get back in the seat. This is awesome. This actually works really well. Look at that. The farm's all set. We got some good anchors on it. Looks kind of gross from here. You can see this big piece. This should hopefully keep us anchored down. This is kind of nice, so that we can actually check... The whole underside of the base because we're so close to the shore that we can actually, you know, go and check our anchors and stuff. Look at all this excess metal here we've got below the ground too. So let's get out and start building some concrete patios for truck trailers, I guess, because that's pretty much what we need now. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to line this up with this height. We're going to delete this eventually. I don't want the parking to be the same structure as the wall. The wall right now is connected to the workshop and that's all one big building. And that's fine, but I don't want it to be the same as the parking because I want the trailers to just sit on their own structure and just be completely fine. But we're just doing this to line up the height so that everything's the same height all the way around the base. We'll delete this all later. And I think actually this might be a good spot for parking. We'll just, you'll come through the base here, turn left here, and then park in behind the farm still, but it'll kind of be over the water as well. Just be some weird... I don't know, magical platform or whatever. We'll, we'll put some supports on it so it looks like something. But let's uh, start dragging some concrete here. So just extend this towards me this way. No, can I, can I, this way? There we go. All right, perfect. Perfect. And then we'll bring this over to the shoreline. So there's going to be like a gap between the shoreline and the farm, I guess. Like there'll be like a little bit of a gap. So our parking spaces will really just be kind of over the water, but that's okay. Okay, so there we go. So we'll bring this all the way to the shore and bring this in. Um, yeah, like that. That'll be that'll be good. It's a little bit of a step down. Shouldn't be that big a deal. And then we'll just make this all concrete. And this will be sort of the driving area that we take the trucks down. Man, we're, look at how fast you burn through concrete, though. Like, look, boom, 256, gone. This... 256 yeah this is gonna be insane and this is barely one truck width because one truck is 15 wide so we're gonna very we might not even have enough concrete to do anything but we'll we'll see what happens here this is what i mean you burn through materials so fast in this game which is great now we've got like you know chemical trucks and all sorts of stuff like it's easy to to gather materials but it does take time and you just it's so quick to just boom done gone so we're already out of that stack of concrete so that's pretty much it um this is great, though. This is good. We can disconnect this now. Now it's not a part of the wall anymore. We'll get rid of this, and we'll bring it all the way over and just leave a tiny little gap in the water. So it's going to be kind of weird when you're trying to back up to the trailers. The trailers are going to have their backs to this side, and they'll be aiming out towards the ocean. So you'll always be backing your truck up and then coming out that way. It's kind of weird. Maybe, at, oh, ooh, maybe we could make it, you know what, let's make it a drive-through. We'll have the trailers with their backs to that side. And you can drive through and come out this way if you wanted to, even though this is a really tight turn to make. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's get more concrete. Go out this way. There we go. Perfect. Um, I think we can come a little bit closer to the shore. There we go. That's excellent. And just 
No, no, I don't want to go below. No, want to go. There we go. All right. So this is going to be the drive through portion of it. And we just got to make sure we leave that block gap between this and this piece. So we're not actually attached in any way. So just like that. Perfect. And we can just do a quick check below ground to make sure that's still the case. We don't want it to be attached. Like I said, got to be separate creations. But it should only honestly need a one block gap. I don't think you need anything more than that. But we'll check just to make sure. Yeah, perfect. So you see it's completely gapped. And actually, you know what? We're going to delete another block because I think I want to put a brick border around the outside of this. So we're just going to stretch this and delete that block. There we go. Okay, and then we'll build this out more with the, you know, few little bits of concrete. We Oh my god, we're already burned through all this concrete. This is insane. All right, well, I thought I was going to finish the parking area today. I'm not even going to come close. Like, pretty much going to finish maybe this section. Holy cow. Okay. Well, that's good. We got a lot of brick, though. We can border it up and make it start to look like something. And we're just going to need... Man, we are... It looks like so much concrete when it's in a large chest. You're just sitting there in a chest. You're like, wow, look at all this concrete I have. And then you build five extensions. This is what I was saying. One-tenth of a base last episode. I think I called it. It was pretty close to almost one-tenth of a base. Oh, my goodness. Well, we'll get we'll get this portion done at least. Okay, so here we go. So like this, done. All right, excellent. Excellent. And then look at that. That's, that's great. So we're going to pull our trucks out here, turn left here, and then turn here. And then we're going to have to make a bunch of parking stalls here with concrete we just don't have. That's pretty much how this is going to go. So if we extend this, actually, we can extend this all the way out on this side just to kind of get the example. So it's going to go all the way out here like this, basically. Uh, and I don't think they're going to be individual parking stalls. They'll probably all just be one big slab because once they're parked and not moving, then they should be fine. But like, there we go. So that's pretty much the, the extent of the concrete we have. And I want to bring it all the way out to here with the wall. And then this will be like our parking area for trailers, which I think will be perfect if we actually had enough material to finish it. So, can we trim this a little bit? Like, cut this back? Maybe just so we can finish the one side at least? Oh boy, we need more concrete than I thought. All right, well, that's fine. Okay, and then we're going to start doing the brick. So, the brick layering, uh, we're going to make it look kind of like a wall, but we're not going to go completely under uh, because that would just be ridiculous. Like, if we went all the way down like the front wall does, we would just... Can you imagine the amount of brick we need to do that? Like, just the big extension. So we're just going to go down, like, the other portion and then build this up on pillars. Bring this all the way around. And we'll do this for now. Eventually, we'll cover up the bottom. That'll be later. And then, of course, we'll put pillars and stuff underneath it as well, which is going to be, you know, a very painful task. We just need material. Like, just a bajillion stone. But it's okay. I'm not too worried, honestly. Getting stone and stuff now, now that we've got a good mining vehicle, it's not really a concern. Before, with a bad mining vehicle, it takes way too long, but it's actually really, really quick now, and I'm kind of happy about it. All right, so we're just going to bring it over to this side so we can check the height over here as well, just like that. Perfect. And bring this all the way over to the shore. We are going to put walls on this eventually, like a little, like a little lip, just like this with the brick. And that way, of course, if you're driving, you don't accidentally drive right off. Too high block lip is usually enough to prevent you from driving over. I mean, you could really, you could send it and do it. But with the trailers and stuff, this should be fine. And we'll just leave it there for now. Obviously, we got to extend out that way more. And then we're going to bring it this way. It's already nighttime again. Oh, boy. So we're good here. All the way up to the shoreline. This is actually looking pretty clean. Let's uh, do the wall up here as well. And then let's wait until daylight, and then we'll come back and finish this up. Alrighty, the sun's coming back up once again. I actually found a little bit more concrete in the uh, craft bot, so that's kind of nice. We've been able to get it out to here, and I've built a little sort of height alignment line. Again, this is all going to be covered underneath with brick eventually, so it'll all just be one big slab. But um, that little piece comes to here, and that should tell us exactly where this has to line up like that. Perfect. So that's the height we need, and actually we'll just extend this all the way across, and we'll have to do a check again to make sure this isn't interfering. Now, we're not going to put a wall on this side. We're going to leave this gap exactly as it is, and I know it'll look a little bit silly, but we can just drive right across it. We shouldn't have any issues there with the vehicles, and it should allow us 
to uh, make sure these stay as separate entities on the map, which I'm hoping is what exactly is going to happen. Now, I'm on the last of the brick. Like, if we look at the inventory, this is all I've got in the entire base for bricks. So, definitely going to have to do more mining, which, you know, I was really hoping to actually build this whole parking lot in this episode, but that's not going to happen. Way behind on the concrete production, but that's okay. We're going to build more of it at some point. We'll do more mining in another episode and uh, definitely build more of this. But for now, I'm just going to finish off the framing of this, so at least I know how big it's going to be. And then I'm going to try parking a trailer even though we're missing, you know, half the wall or whatever. So there we go. Perfect. Let's try parking a trailer now. You'll notice the frame rate keeps kind of dropping and stuff. You might not notice it. It's literally because all the vehicles are just sliding into this wall. And when they hit the wall like this, they start lagging the game out. It's actually ridiculous. I've been moving them back this entire video. So let's actually, uh, let's try parking an actual trailer first. So we're going to just grab the fuel trailer and just put it up on the road here. Where's the other... Where'd the other trailer go? Is it in the water again? Why is it always underwater? I swear, every t this one trailer, the fruit trailer, it just likes to sink. It's just like, you know what? I'm good here. All right, well, we'll get you later. That's also going to cause some lag. All right, let's see if we can actually hitch this up, though. We got the truck. Take this fuel trailer. Come on. Hitched. Perfect. Let's get out and flick this guy up. Excellent. And let's back it up. Excellent. Look at that. Nice little jackknife there. Alright, let's try this drive-through thing. So let's see what we can do here. Let's go forward into the base. This is wonderful. Man, that passageway seems a lot smaller when you're in a truck, doesn't it? As soon as, like, it looked a lot bigger when it wasn't a truck. We're gonna... Okay, well that's... That's gonna be problem number one. We need to widen that corner out. So we are gonna have to build this whole thing out further at some point. It's gonna be the, like double width concrete because that's too narrow and we're always going to just be like jackknifing the trailer over that rock yeah and now look now we're we're stuck on the outside okay so this needs to be wider oh my goodness this needs to be huge we just literally don't have the space for it okay well let's let's try it anyway let's let's assume i make that turn wider and we can get around the corner there all right excellent now, if I just get here, I still can't even... I don't even have... Oh, my God. This needs to be massive to deal with trailers. This is insane. Look at that. We're going to run over the farm. Come on. Just... just Yeah. No, it's... Oh, boy. Yeah. This isn't going to work. This is actually insane. I didn't realize how much concrete we would actually need. Literally burn through it in no time at all. But we need to extend this whole platform out more. And maybe we can put more parking for trailers out over the ocean that way, but... Look at that, just, you, you jackknife that, and then you have to jackknife it again, or else we just go into the water. There, yeah, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's, we're good, we're good. We're good, chill, trailer, chill. Chill, we're just gonna, we're gonna just back up a little bit, yeah, no, come on out, come on out of the, there, come on, there we go, okay. Alright, let's try this again, so if we just back up straight, give it a little bit of a turn, that's too much. That's too much. I'm terrible at backing up trailers. Okay, just... Nope, nope. See, now we're hitting the wall. This is a tight area. This is a really, really tight spot to deal with. Um, Actually, you know what? It, it would be fine if we had more concrete, because we wouldn't have to park on this side. We could park on the other side, but... Here we go. Turn. Turn. Oh, yeah, we got it now. Look at that. Perfect. You can even let the wheels bump. Oh, excellent. And then we can just disconnect this guy like so. Get back in our truck with our super, super amazing frame rate. This game does not really like transport trucks that much, but look at that. Perfect. And then we've got our truck back and our trailer's fully parked. Awesome. It's gonna be tons of space. This is like this is huge. We got tons of space here. We just don't have enough concrete yet we need a lot more concrete so i think that's actually going to be good this gives us a lot of space too to maneuver the truck out front here and still be able to back up and get the trailer so for now we're just going to grab the other two with the lift and sort of put them down everything is lagging again why is, is you which one is it it's because we have the stupid trailer in the water isn't it all right let's get rid of this trailer in the water first come here yeah like what are you doing man 
Leave you alone for five minutes and you can't just you can't just stay in one spot. All right So for now, we're just gonna leave you over here. We're not gonna be really driving through here with the truck Perfect. We can actually just leave the truck probably right on this brick section here Just so it doesn't move either Excellent pretty much just need lots of flat surfaces so your vehicles don't move anywhere Let's grab this trailer as well and also put it on this brick over here or this concrete. I guess there we go Look at that. None of our trailers are sinking anymore. Are you guys actually lagging now? Man, I feel like this big concrete platform is going to lag the game out too. Like we might have to make it so each one of these platforms stands on its own and doesn't touch any of the others. Okay, so I found the culprit. It's the stupid crane trailer. Look, if we, if we have it on the lift, it's wonderful. And as soon as we take it off the lift, it's not nearly as wonderful. I wonder though, if we just weld this guy up. If that makes it actually better or if that just, you know, doesn't do anything. Let's just see what happens here. There we go. Does that make it better? Yeah, that does. Okay, so we have found the culprit. I might have to re-engineer this trailer for lag later. But either way, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, I was hoping to build more of the parking area. I was hoping to have all three trailers lined up next to each other. Obviously, that's not going to happen until we mine a lot more concrete. Need a lot more materials, but that's okay. We can just do a whole ton more mining with the new miner and actually i might fix up the miner i'm not going to change it like the same thing but i might do some you know aesthetic things on it to make it actually look more like a miner maybe add a second refinery and stuff like that but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and while you're at it hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time